before that the hair transplant is used to treat the other causes after this theory the hair transplant is started to treat the uh, alopecia areata dr norman said that the property of the donor area is dominant uh, when it is used uh, in the long lasting zone or permanent zone and transplanted onto the recipient area then it will grow uh, faster and follow the characteristic property of the donor area uh, that is the reason why does the uh, transplanted hair not fall out even though uh, the uh, a, even though uh, it is transplanted uh, in area where the new hair thinning occur. The recipient dominancy implants the exact opposite way. The recipient uh, area has some degree of uh, influence over the donor area. But it is not a prevalent condition fortunately. Otherwise the transplanted hair will fall out with the time. But the recipient uh, dominancy uh, expresses in a unique and subtle way. For example, in eyebrow hair transplant, if the uh, in eyebrow hair transplant, the uh, transplanted uh, eyebrow hair will grow fast. But due to the effect of uh, influence of the native uh, skin, it will grow slowly and uh, thinner uh, uh, with the time. Uh, same thing in body hair transplant, if the graft is taken out from the body and transplanted, uh, taken out from the chest and transplanted onto the uh, recipient that is wild area, then it will grow faster and thicker with the time. Uh, another example is uh, in the, uh, if the hair is taken out from the occipital area and transplanted onto the lower leg, then it took the characteristic of the lower leg and uh, the word uh, back when it transplanted back into the neck of neck. So the theory of donor dominance and uh, recipient dominance exists. Uh, if you have any query or question regarding this, you can mail me. Thank you.